everyone in today's video i'll show you how to replicate an angle using a compass and a ruler okay and i'll uh, show you two examples an acute angle and an obtuse angle so first of all we start with the baseline okay this is the line where you want to draw this ray and take a point okay let's say this one and this will be the point from which we'll extend this arm okay now the next step is to open your compass put it right there and open arc of any length okay so and just make an arc like this okay now you approximately know this angle so your arc should cover this your angle will form something like this so your arc should completely cover this angle okay or this length this this angle will be greater than this one now using the same measurement okay you draw an arc on this angle so that it intersects both of its arms okay now you get these two points this one right here and this one now you just take this length copy this length into this figure so you take your compass open it till this point and from this point right here cross the arc label this point there you go. and join these two Oops. these two angles will be the same well, let's let's measure them so this one is almost 75 degrees okay and let's see this one this one is also very close to 75 degrees now the procedure for obtuse angles is the same i will do this one quicker so you first start off with the space line mark any point okay open your compass to any length okay um, such that it intersects two points on this angle okay using the same length draw an angle which is greater than this one so that it will intersect and now copy this length right here so you open a compass take this measurement okay and copy this length so you get these two points this one and this one right over here you just connect them then these two angles will be the same you can measure them this is around 140 degrees okay and this is also around 140 degrees you can see now let's see why does this work so we had this angle to start off with okay let me label this you can call this a o b okay the first step of our construction was to create a line just using it as a reference and then selecting a point from which we'll construct this ray let me call this point uh, o dash okay now a second step we made an arc crossing through these two points 
okay let me call this point uh, p and this point q now we didn't change our compass length and then we made an arc right over here so what what will, what what this step will do is fix this length all right so when when we draw the arc this length oq will be equal to this length okay let me say o dash uh, q dash okay this length gets fixed and now in our second step we took our compass measured this length and cut this arc right here so this was a compass this is how we opened a compass and then we made an arc right here so what this this step will do it will take this length pq and copy this right over here so this so pq okay this line be equal to this length or uh, let me call this we call this point p dash okay so pq will be equal to p dash to dash and oh um, yeah q will be equal to q dash o dash and now we join o dash to p dash something like this now since we had we didn't change our compass length okay while we are drawing this red arc op will be equal to o dash p dash okay which will be equal to o dash q dash okay so this length will be equal to this one ready have the same circle and didn't change our compass length so these two lengths will also be equal now we have three lengths which are equal okay op this is equal to o dash p dash this one oq which is equal to o dash q dash and pq which will be equal to p dash q dash so this length is equal to this length now you can see in these two these two triangles are congruent okay since all the sides are equal so we can say triangle o q p o q is similar to triangle e dash o dash q dash which means angle o is equal to angle o dash since corresponding parts are congruent and this means that we have successfully recreated this angle onto another part of the part of the page without any measurements by only using a compass and a ruler so that's it for today thanks for watching